I love the name on the TV. I think they got that a little wrong as far as the name. <laughs> he's actually hey, it's Ricky my pleasure Matthews. to represent Mississippi Farm Bureau. <laughs> Says Mike McCormick, president. Um, That's my say, bad. They got you on VMIG C. I'll fix that real quick. That's I had it all set up. No problem. Too. Good I, I, I like Mike. Ricky I'm was fine. bragging I'm on fine. me. <laughs> Listen, when you make a mistake here, I always have the, the inane ability to point it out. So that's not that's not good. Ricky Matthews uh, from uh, the Gulf Coast. Ricky, let me ask you this: uh, Is it a sense of excitement on the coast uh, starting today? It's been like a building for a while. Did we lose him? Okay, the, now I really uh, can yeah, yeah, go ahead. You there? Yeah, that's okay. The I call it the king of events in Mississippi. I mean, it, come on now. This, there's there's not a better opportunity to showcase coastal Mississippi yeah. than the cruise on the coast event. I was in the Mississippi Delta over the weekend, and when I came back yesterday, the number of cars on trailers, cars that are being driven for, 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 you know, for, by people who are headed down here to enjoy this weekend or this week, uh, yeah. it's, it's, an, it's an incredible opportunity to showcase Mississippi. I don't think it's an understatement to say it's almost like the Vegas Strip, the longest Vegas Strip of a uh, world-class car show along most of the Gulf Coast. So it actually yeah. starts where and, and ends where. Well, there are actually several you know, key areas, but the, the Centennial Plaza in Guphorn is kind of the headquarters. And in fact, yeah. uh, Rob uh, Siegler, who, who works with the crews on the coast with Woody Bailey, posted a picture this morning showing at 5 a.m. cars lined up on Highway 90, you know, working to get in to get, do the early registration. You know, they expect over 10,000 cars registered. Done, another yeah. bunch of cars, yeah. thousands of cars don't register. So, you know, I mean, you look at the sun sunrise this morning, Paul, just a beautiful day, beautiful day to yeah. start, start this incredible event. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't. If you're, if you're going to take off and, and have some extra time, you know, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, if you're even in the North Mississippi area, is not that far away. So we are very, very fortunate to this one. But <clears throat> I would think that the hotel rooms are probably uh, just about packed ac across the entire coast. Oh, yeah. There's there's no doubt about it. I mean, the economic imp impact on restaurants and mm -hmm. hotels and shops and Businesses just in general along the coast is just is, is, is very significant. I mean, it's a huge economic boost for all the cities that make up coastal Mississippi. But, you know, you mentioned the Las Vegas uh, uh, car show. What's interesting mm -hmm. about coast, uh, and I love to talk about this on my show, and Woody mentions this from time to time, but this is a rare car event where you actually get to cruise <laughs> so you get to take in the beautiful yeah. you know the beautiful uh, view south uh unencumbered view of the beach and in the gulf of mexico the mississippi sound with this you know these great you know, live oaks lining uh lining highway 90 and go from mm -hmm. city to city each city with its own unique sense of place it's uh and that's one of the reasons why usa today says it's the top car show in, in america because it's very unique and that the cruisers literally get to cruise yeah if you, if you think about that you know you strike up a friendship and, and as one of the guys said in one of the interviews there are people that he's met there now two and three years and they've kind of become friends you can just hop in the car and say let's drive to ocean springs uh and you want to drive it yeah let me drive it and, and who knows uh, i wonder how many deals are made to sell those things I don't, and, and it's, it's yeah, no, it's I, I'm sure that's significant. You know, Pete Vacari is a friend of mine, and he has yeah. a Vacari auction here in Costa Mesa. In fact, when I sold my house, when I became publisher of the Times Picayune, he bought my house. So he has a, he we built a house next door. So he's now my next door neighbor, and Pete has this in, un, in, unbelievable show. It's actually outgrown the the uh, Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum Convention Center, and they actually are out into the parking lot now. But he'll hit a record this year as well. I mean, the number of people that come here to buy and trade and enjoy, you know, uh, you know, taking up their game as it relates to their car collection. This is this is one of the big things about this Amazing. about this event. Ricky, what what's the benefit of registering? Yeah, they have actually what is it's similar to a po poker run, actually. 
So what happens is they are trying to draw people into the 11 cities that make up coastal Mississippi. So you go to this event and you get a stamp or whatever the whatever whatever you get. I think it's a stamp. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the next one, then the next one, the next one. And you had the opportunity actually at the end of, of, of cruising to win some money. So it's kind of a poker run. It's, it's, it's really smartly done. P plus, yeah. yeah, I think mm -hmm. the, the attendees understand whether they're actually involved in moving from city to city, that when they support this, this effort then it, it helps it helps the organizing effort it helps the volunteers it helps everybody understand what the impact is going to be and i think you yeah. know when you when you're talking about uh, the traffic on highway 90 and the role of the police department and the fire department and emergency responders and what the cities have to deal with it helps with pre-planning so they really they really work hard to help people understand that it's important to register even though as i said thousands yeah. don't if, if you are a native-born Mississippian on the Gulf Coast, the reality is prior to Camille and all the way up to Katrina, all of these assets were available on the Gulf Coast, where at one point you had just about every hotel in bankruptcy or receivership. You had the Gulf Coast, a wasteland. The, the amenities were there. They just had to start working together. Not only the legislature, but the elected officials down there, the city council, and everything else. And when you do that, look what happens. Yeah. Oh, it's it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I mean, we we believe. You know, you hear the it's used a lot, but the the the, the old Adam that you have. Um, you know, the, the, the rising tide lifts all boats. You know, the the history of coastal Mississippi has been that we we're together today in ways we've never been together before you know we, we're one coast when i became publisher of the sun herald in 2001 we started what is called the south mississippi strategy i was in, inspired by my mentor and former publisher roland weeks that we had to continue as a newspaper to bring the communities together because when we are together it's incredibly important to our future when we're not together you know we're not we're not realizing our potential and we're to, we're together in ways today that we've never been together before and it and it showcases in an event like like cruising the coast yeah and i think you see this in a lot of places golden triangle you're seeing it in in, in certain places in the the Soto county area uh, Madison is just on fire as far as Amazon and, and the bottling company and looking for even another mega site, filling that one up. It's just we have some great spots across the state. And when you start working together and, and being someone who's been in this for a long, long time, I, I've seen how not doing that has just frustrated the hell out of some people. But that being said, it's a new era in the state of Mississippi, and we are happy for that. The uh, Tuesday, October the 3rd, I'm just looking at some of the things happening today. The Vicari Auto Auctions, and we had Mr. Vicari on last week. Uh, check in at the Coast Coliseum, 9 o'clock this morning till 5 p.m. So that will be open today. Is, is that going to be the auction start today or is that tomorrow? No, the auction actually doesn't start till Wednesday. So Wednesday, um, okay, yeah. Yeah, so the, the check-in the, the, the the check event. In. In. I'm sorry. I, I'm yeah. wrong here. The, the, the yeah. Vicari check-in at the Coliseum is from 1 to 5, and then it's also checking in from 9 to 5, 9 to 5 tomorrow, and 1 to 5 today as far as checking in. And then you said on Wednesday is when it starts. Yes, yes, that's right. Bring, bring, your, bring your credit card. <laughs> bring your hey they i've got I've, you know my conversations with, with uh pete he's he's a very multimedia guy you know he's got yeah. he'll have uh, people who are trying to buy cards that are doing it over the internet from all over maybe even the world i call them whales they'll buy multiple cars and spend hundreds of thousands yes. of dollars yeah. but it's a unique event it really is well, because a lot of those things appreciate in value, and they're better than the Wall Street, than the stock market, certainly as the stock market looks right now. The the situation was on the Gulf Coast, it was so important to the Super Talk that uh, Steve Davenport made an incredible investment down there. I want to talk about that and also the overall businesses that really, really just depend on this for the entire year, from restaurants to others. Back with Ricky Mann. Yes. Ah. Michaels, uh, you know, he had this mystery illness. He was on a ventilator, and and they took him off the ventilator, and, and apparently he's doing a lot better. 
He's been undergoing uh, physical and mental therapy for whatever happened to him, and, and, and it's still not real clear. But uh, I think back in August, mid-August, first of August, he was uh, he was teasing a show in July, coming back to Las Vegas, and I think the show was in uh, the first of August, somewhere August 9th, I believe. So hopefully he's back on the road, but what an incredible talent. Real quick here before we get back to Ricky, we have those tickets out there. Lance has changed the dynamics of winning things. He chose <laughs> he chose a very difficult I mean we got fifteen pages of uh I got him guesses stumped. here. I got him stumped this yeah. morning. Right. Give it one more time because there are a lot of people who thought well this is easy with yeah, you get it. We not. got two tickets to the PGA and here's the question. I'll make it quick because I don't want to cut into Ricky, but what was the no. course record in one round for the US Open and who are the two people who achieved that feat? I will give you a hint. One of them was in 1973. One was in 1980. So these answers we're getting, you are a little too recent. You got to do a little historical research uh-huh. here. Aha. All right. Ricky, when you start talking about, we mentioned before the break here, uh, uh, the, uh, our company, the uh, Telesouth, making a tremendous investment, not only in Talk Station, the number one talk, but uh, all of the other stations that went with that. And that, so it was a, it was a tremendous commitment, and man, it's played out. We we just we are so ingrained as part of everything that's going on down there. It's just incredible. It's it's not just here. It's it's uh, across the state of Mississippi. You know, as a former newspaper publisher yeah. and someone who later in his career focused a lot on digital media and forming digital media companies for the uh, the largest privately owned media company in America. I had the opportunity, I had a front row seat to a lot of changes that were happening in media in general. And watching, you know, I was really, really curious when I came in to do this show at, at Super Talk Mississippi Media to understand how does Super Talk fit into what's happening around the around the United States as it relates to radio and how, is, is radio mm-hmm. strong, for example. And what I learned is that Steve decided, Steve Davenport, the owner of, of Super Talk and Kim Dillon, decided long ago that they were not going to do like other radio companies have done, you know, centralize all of their stuff. Go get away from local, uh, you know, trying to, you know, just trying to save as much money as possible by taking a national approach. Super Talk just did the opposite of that. They, 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 they doubled down on local. Um, the 12 radio stations that are part of Super Talk, what a, what a phenomenal strategy when you're trying to bring a conversation that involves the entire state. And then on top of that, 14 radio stations, most of them in incredibly strong uh, positions in each of their markets, like WCPR here in coastal Mississippi and the Monkey here in coastal Mississippi. But Steve, Steve was a visionary to be able to do that, to say that I'm going to yes. do that. And then yeah. on top of that, they said, we're not just a radio company. We're a multimedia company. As we talk, you and I now, we're not, not just on radio, but we're we'll be on Facebook and YouTube. Your favorite podcast. We'll, we're we're you know simulcasting on on Super Talk TV, and then the, the evolution of this digital business they have, uh, the the SC, STMM digital uh, effort, which is the digital marketing arm for 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 uh, Super Talk. Uh, they're a best-in-class digital solution so that when people need to get advice about what they need to do on digital, they can go to Supertalk to get it. It's a phenomenal company. It is. And I, doesn't that play out, certainly on Friday nights, too, as we bring everybody together on the Friday night scoreboard? I mean, it's just it's, – it's, yeah. it's absolutely amazing. And, and, yeah, hey, and hey, Paul, on Paul I'll add, it, too, it, I had Richard – Yeah, yeah I, and me, I, too, I had Richard Cross on the show last week, and we talked mm-hmm. about – uh, the incredible support that Steve and Kim give him in his uh, SEC network and ESPN efforts. But the sports talk guys that we have together, no one mm-hmm. talks uh, college football better in the state than those guys. We, we, I mean, you think about yeah. the talent of someone like oh, absolutely. The, the, the group yeah. of them. And then, of course, with Richard Cross in, in the fold, we're leading across so many different areas. It's uh, Super Talk is a force to be reckoned with. Well, speaking of reckoning with, there are so many businesses out there that uh, the cash register is going to be ringing from little mom and pop restaurants and kiosks all the way to the casinos. And if you have a chance, how long does this go on for people who want to know? It goes through the weekend, through next Sunday. Through next Sunday, so you got plenty of time to get down there. Yeah, Ricky, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you for taking the time. It's, it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. 